welcome to Made at Home. I am Becca Stackhouse, your UGA Extension Family and Consumer Science Chris County agent, and today we're going to make peach salsa. So this recipe is a compilation of things, but one place that you can find it if you want to can it for later is the So Easy to Preserve book. So I'll put this in the link in the description for you, but you can purchase your own copy and it's got the step-by-step -step directions of how you boil it and how you get it ready to put it in a canner. We're just going to make it so that it's ready to eat. So you're going to add some cilantro. We're going to just roughly chop it up since we're adding it to our blender over here. Then we're going to chop our peaches up, which it's starting to become peach season. So find the farmers that you can help support. I'm going to toss our peaches in here. So peaches kind of fall on that yellow aspect of our rainbow of fruits and vegetables for us to eat. And I'm leaving the skin on just because you can eat peaches either way. If you would prefer not to have the skin in your salsa, go ahead and peel them off. You've got little ones at home helping you. They can help you get the skin off. You can use a peeler or use a knife. Just make sure you're carefully doing it. You're just trying to get it all away from that pit. You don't want any of the peach pit left. The other ingredients you're going to need is you're going to need red bell peppers. You're going to need some apple cider vinegar. You're going to need a lime for some lime juice. You're going to need a jalapeno if you want some kick. And then if you want, you're going to add a little bit of brown sugar. Um, if you are using it to can, you need to exactly follow the step-by-step -step ingredients because those are proven ingredients of how they will keep as a canned product. So these are those first peaches, which like to cling to their pits a whole lot more than your next round of peaches that come off the trees. Her peach is just squirting juice all over the place here. Doesn't have to look pretty because remember it's going into a blender anyways. I'm going to go drain some of this juice real quick so we don't end up with a bigger mess. ingredients we've got garlic and some ginger that are gonna go into our blender over here we got our red bell pepper it's gonna go in our blender over here we're gonna add a half a cup of water we're gonna add a cup of apple cider vinegar blender over for you just a little. We're going to add our jalapeno for that spice. Remember that if you got somebody remember that if you've got somebody that doesn't like spice you can leave it out 
you've got somebody that does like spice, you can put more in. So we're just going to roughly slice it since it's going in our blender. We're going to add some lemon ju lime juice. So if you roll that lime out, it'll, once you cut it, it helps to give it a little more ability to juice. So we're going to juice it in. I'm going to rinse my hands off. So that when I touch the brown sugar, we don't get sticky and gunky all in our brown sugar over here. So I'm only going to add a little bit, but remember if you're following that recipe for canning, you've got to follow it exactly the way it's laid out. And we're going to put our lid on our blender here, push power, and let's pulse it. And guess what guys, we got our peach salsa. So you can serve it over chicken, serve it on fish, Serve it on anything you want. Serve it with chips and salsa. Got it that way. Serve it on those tacos you're going to have on Tuesday. So there is our peach salsa. Thanks for joining me with Made at Home.